Hey guys, what's up? I'm Siddharth and I'm going to show you how to make a dark sensor. It'll be a quick tutorial, so gear up with your equipment. And so we start with the BC547 transistor. We tuck it into the breadboard and ensure that the flat side is facing you and the other side will be facing to the rear opposite side. That is the curved side and there we are. So first we attach the LED that will tell us the intensity of darkness. So all LEDs have two legs, the cathode and the anode. So the cathode is usually shorter than the anode and goes to the negative terminal. So the longer terminal will be attached to the transistor here. then we move on to the 220 ohms uh, resistor the color code is red red brown that is 220 and we attach this to the cathode of the LED and now we finally move on to the LDR this will sense the presence of light um, so we attach this to the center of the transistor that is the middlemost leg And now we move on to our um, 220 kilo ohms resistor. We attach to we attach this to the middlemost leg of the transistor, but on the opposite side of the LDR. Just to remember, I'm telling you um, that we are facing the flat side of the transistor here, and here this goes. It. And now while making this circuit, like all other circuits, we'll be attaching the terminals of the battery to the sides of the breadboard, that is the sides that are vertically connected, this one and this side. So We must connect the LDR to the side of the breadboard. There it is. Then we move on to the terminal of the transistor to the terminal of the battery. So now that's the circuit and now we attach the battery. So sometimes these battery terminals can be fairly irritating so when they have split ends and not a single wire so you just take a piece of single wire and you wind it around it so that it makes your task easier now we'll attach this in series with the two transistors um, I mean the resistors so there we are and now I think you should do the same thing for the ground too There we are. So now our circuit is ready, and the moment it senses darkness, the LED should light up. So, to test it, you can just move around with it and sense the presence of darkness in different rooms.
so that's it i hope you enjoyed it you can have a final look at the circuit once again in case you have messed up anywhere here's a transistor the ldr and the resistors in series